my fish sandwich looks delicious. Ooh, I can't wait to take the first bite. Oh man, mm, and it smells like my ex. Ooh, I should call her. I love this nostalgia. Ooh, wait, wait, my fish sandwich is missing something. What is it missing? Oh yeah, spices, <laughs> duh. Uh, what do we got, chili powder? Uh, no, Italian seasoning, no. Jeffy, get back with my sandwich, no! Help me find my son Nemo. Ah, Jeffy, where'd you get that fish? I found it. No, he didn't, he stole it. Now give it back, Jeffy. No, he's gonna find his son. No, he's gonna find my mouth because I'm hungry, give it back. No, Jeffy, that's not even a clownfish. Well, maybe he lost his job. No one's hiring clowns in this economy. Give me my fish back, I'm hungry, Jeffy. No. Give it back, no, no, give no, it no. back. Oh, there's someone at the door, hold on. Give him his fish back, Jeffy. Give him my damn fish! Hello? Hey there, we were just going door to door selling us sexy policeman calendars, but then we heard screaming, so now we're here for business, not pleasure. Oh no, my son was just screaming about a fish. Yeah, finding Nemo can be pretty scary. Oh, it's a dead fish. Oh, I think maybe we should come in and look around. No, 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 what's these calendars about? Oh, you like them? Yeah, I made them myself. We actually photoshopped our heads onto stock photos of sexy men. That's not actually my body. I wish it was, but I like cheesecake too much, but it goes straight to my hips. I have to write you a ticket for being too sexy. Yeah, I came up with that. Read mine. Freeze. I need to do a strip search. Oh, that's really clever. You want to buy one? How much is it? $54. $54 for a calendar? Yeah, I mean, people are trying to, like, defund the police, so this is how we're trying to fund it. I mean, we will sign it for you. Oh, well, what's your autograph worth? What? Okay, dick. Uh, you're Marvin. I'm Brooklyn guy, okay? Do you know who I am? I'm in every video. You guys would crumble without me. If I'm not here, nothing happens. Chef Pee-Pee's girlfriend, everybody hated that. So I think my autograph is worth quite a bit. So now, we're gonna come in and see what all the screaming's about. Ugh. Who's at the door, Marvin? It was the police. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the us. We heard screaming, and unless there's ice cream in here for us all to scream for, that's pretty suspicious. I told you my son was screaming about a fish. I see no son, and I see no fish. Well, he left with it. Uh -uh. No, I'm not buying it. Simmons, something in here smells pretty fishy. Because there was a fish on the couch a minute ago. No, this is what I think happened. I think you and your wife murdered someone, and that was the scream we heard, and then you hid the body, and you didn't want to buy a calendar because you didn't want us to get your DNA off the money to compare to the murder victim. No, I didn't buy your stupid calendar because it sucks. <laughs> oh, look what you did. You made Simmons cry. That's not my fault. I don't have abs like that. Marvin, you owe me a new fish because Jeffy put his dirty fingers all over it. Huh, I guess you were telling the truth. I told you I told the truth. Jeez, okay. Hey, you don't have to snap at me. Simmons, if he was a turtle, he'd be a snapping turtle. Go on, mate. I wouldn't be a snapping turtle, I'd be a regular turtle! Marvin, you seem so stressed out. You need a boy's night out. Did somebody say boy's night out? Did somebody say Applebee's and casino and strip club? I said boy's night out, but I didn't say strip club. Well, wait, wait, wait. I heard Applebee's. I love me some damn Applebee's now. Yeah, you guys want to go to Applebee's and a casino and also a strip club? No strip club! Okay, fine. Come on, let's go to Applebee's. Uh, Applebee's! Uh, I kind of just want to stay inside tonight. Jesus, what? Marvin, don't be such a puss. Let's go to Applebee's. Yeah, come on, the bees. Okay, baby, I'll be back. Bye. Oh man, Marvin, you know what I love so much about Applebee's? The culture. One meal, you're in Greece. Another meal, you're in Italy. The next meal, you're in Asia? Like chicken wonton tacos? That's Asia and Mexico! Nigga, choose the country! Yeah, exactly. I feel like I need a passport to eat here. I feel like I'm eating in an airport. Bro, Applebee's is the eighth wonder of the world. So what do you recommend here? What do I recommend? Marvin, it's Applebee's. Look at the menu. I recommend all of it. Everything here is cooked fresh, in the microwave. Uh, mate, where's the blooming onion? <sighs> Simmons, that's Outback, the Australian Apple. Applebee's. Oh, okay. Let's see if the chef has added anything new to the menu. Ooh, I've never seen this before. Chicken tenders platter. I can't decide between that or the Bourbon Street chicken and shrimp. And hello, what's this? Mountain Dew Dark Berry Bash. Don't mind if I do. It's like somebody nutted right in my mouth. I don't know why you would want salty nut in your mouth. There's pretzels on the menu. Yes, there are. Hi, thank you for coming to Applebee's. No, thank you for being Applebee's. My name's Clarissa. I'll be your server tonight. Can I start you off with a round of drinks? Yeah, let me get a but you, your tall glass of water looking ass. I'm parched. Uh, sir, how about I start with you? Oh, I'll have a Captain Bahama Mama. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're out of those. Well, of course you are. I mean, Applebee's is so busy. I can't believe you guys can keep it in stock. Okay, so uh, I'll have a Coke instead. Is Pepsi okay? Oh, fuck. No. No, it is not. Okay, you know what? I'll just have a water. You know, a round of waters for the whole table. See, that's the one downside of Applebee's. All they have is Pepsi products. Ugh. 
Okay, I'll be right back with those. You know, I actually think we're ready to order. Oh, go ahead. Now, what comes on the kids' cheese pizza? Cheese. Okay, but what kind of cheese? Are we talking Manchego, Munster, Gouda? Because I know the chef likes to have a cheese of the week. Whatever's imported. Oh, no, he doesn't. It's mozzarella. Ooh, fancy. And how is that prepared? Is that thin crust or stuffed crust? It's microwaved. <laughs> Ooh, I'll have that. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. You can't. It's 12 or under. What? You have to be 12 years old or under to order off the kids' menu. Oh, well, in that case, my son is coming later, and he wants the kids' cheese pizza. Oh, okay. Then what would you like to eat? Nothing, but my son wants the kids' cheese pizza. You're not eating? No, but my son wants the kids' cheese pizza, so get me a goddamn kids' cheese pizza. My son's not really coming later. I just really wanted the kids' cheese pizza. It's exactly the right amount of food. It's not too much. You can take someone else's order now. Can you believe this? I mean, it's not like they're gonna check my ID and see how old I am. It's not like there's food police that are gonna come arrest me if you give me the wrong pizza. I said you can take a different order! Sir, what would you like to eat? I'll have the steak, not microwaved. Oh, how would you like that cooked? On the grill? No, I mean your temperature. Well done. Okay, anything else? I want Outback! Simmons, down boy! Sir, what would you like to eat? Shit, I'm starving like a motherfucker. I can get a quadruple cheeseburger for real, for real. Ooh, ordering off the secret menu. Hey, my guy, my guy, he knows. <laughs> oh, and I want a steak. How would you like that cooked? Shit, on your fine ass, on that wagon back door? Yeah, medium well. Uh, sir, what would you like? Uh, can I just get a cheeseburger? Yes, okay. Ooh, y'all see the fine ass waitress? Ooh, I'll pat that ass right now. Yes, I would also have sex with the waitress. What about you, Simmons? Would you have sex with the waitress if the opportunity presented itself? No, I only like having sex with your mom. Ew, but I'm not going to let that ruin my good time here at Applebee's. What about you, Marvin? Sex with the waitress? Does she have a disease? Uh, Come on, Marvin! Come on, take a chance! Take a chance! Marvin, this is Applebee's. She's an Applebee's waitress. She's not going to have a disease. I'm pretty sure they check. Well, um... Does my wife find out? Oh, Jesus, Marvin, Jesus. Just, just say yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, that's my boy right there, you dirty dog. old bastard. Oh, you nasty. You, you. All right, here's your food. Does everything look okay? I mean, your cute ass ain't butt naked on my plate right now, so. Sir, please stop. Marvin, if that's not just the freshest mozzarella cheese I've ever seen, bone dry. I can't wait to take the first bite of that. I, I mean, I can't wait until my son takes the first bite. I'm eating this pizza. I know. And what's this? Mott's applesauce? Tell the chef I love him. Let me know if you need anything. Damn, PP, look at that burger. They gave you the whole cow. I didn't know my ex-wife was on the menu. <laughs> well, guys, let's eat up. We still have to hit the casino after this. Hey, Marvin, you want to see my happy cheese pizza face? I love cheese pizza. All right, guys, we got to eat. <laughs> Oh, Marvin, that kid's cheese pizza sure hit the spot. I'm glad you enjoyed your kid's pizza, sir. Yeah, and that Mott's applesauce cup? Mwah, my compliments to the chef. It's store-bought. Well, someone picked it. Sir, it looks like you enjoyed your food. You ate almost all of it. Yeah, I was making room for dessert. So come lay your fine ass on this plate, or sit on Big Daddy's mustache and I'll give you a licking. Okay, are you all paying on one check or paying separately? Uh, police officers eat for free, right? No. I didn't like mine. You ate almost all of it. But I asked for well done, and it wasn't well done. You ate almost all of it. Uh, ma'am, could you give us a second, please? Okay. Okay, so who's paying? Y'all ass! I was invited! I, I didn't even want to come here. I have food at the house. I am a chef. I can cook. Y'all are cops. Y'all got buku cash. Pay for it. Yeah, I only brought $20. Mm, okay, I have an idea. Uh, waitress! Yes? My friend Marvin here says you're really hot, and he would have sex with you if he could. What? No, you guys said you would. No, no, he said he would pat your ass right now on this table on top of this pillow. No, y'all said y'all would pack. Sir, how are you paying for the check? Ah, oh, shit, Marvin, that didn't work. I have another idea. Uh, what's that, dispatch? There's a shooting and kids. Oh, no, man, we gotta go right now. Those two aren't cops. Uh, yes, they are. They're, they're undercover cops, right, officers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, aye, aye, Captain. Yes. Aye, aye, Captain. Uh, yeah, three of us are cops and one of us is a pirate, so let's go. All right, boys, let's bankrupt these scammers. Appreciate you, bro, for spreading me $20. I was broke as a joke. I'll just spend it wisely. Ooh, thanks, Dad. Oh, don't worry. We're going to leave this casino millionaires. You hear that, bitch? We're going to own this casino. <laughs> what do you think it's going to land on, Marvin? What does 1 to 12 mean? Well, apparently it's the age you have to be to order a fucking cheese pizza at Applebee's. Oh, well, I'm going to put it on that. What about you, Simmons? Black. Where? Uh, oh, so, sorry, my, my cop instincts kicked in. You meant on the table. I'm going to go with boobies. They never failed me. It never lands on double zero. I'm going to bet on the age of consent.
Oh, no, 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 <laughs> not, not 13. I, I'm a cop. I, I actually know the age of consent, not the age of consent in Japan. Look it up. It's true. It, it was 13 until just this year. They bumped it up to 16. I guess that's progress. Okay, bitch, spin that shit. Come on, come on, 18, 18! Black, black, black! Where, where, where? Come on, double zero, come on, double zero! Make me a millionaire! Seventeen. Yes, I won! Shit, I was one off. That has to count for something, right? Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Wait, wait, did I win? Was it one to twelve? Is seventeen between one and twelve? No. No, only Simmons won. All right, give me my money, baby! Okay, guys, we only got one bet left. Well, I got three. I'm gonna stick with my boobies. It never lands on that! I'm gonna go all in on red. Hmm, tempting. But I'm gonna put it on the number of times I've cheated on my wife. Twenty-eight. I've counted. Um, what does... Odd mean. Really, Marvin? It means if it lands on an odd number. Okay, well, can you put mine on even for me? Okay, yeah, fine. <sighs> okay, ho! Could you spin that, please? Come on, 28! Come on, 28! Red, red, red! Double zero! Woo! Yeah! That's right, bitch! I'm a millionaire! Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, come here, ho! <laughs> Mmm, I'm a millionaire! You know it only pays out $350, right? And you owe me 20 of that. Shit, I don't know you. All this money going to the strip club for some hoes. I want two! What are you talking about, Simmons? It landed on double zero. That's green. No, it's red. Wait, wait, Simmons, are you colorblind? What's that? What color is this, Matt? Uh, red? Oh, Jesus, you're colorblind. Wait, did I win? No, Marvin, it landed on double zeros. You bet on even numbers. Well, double zero is even. What are you talking about? It, well, each person gets zero. But what? Okay, look, if we had one apple, then we have an odd amount of apples, right? But if we each had an apple, that's an even amount of apples. But if we both had no apples, we evenly have nothing. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, wait, wait a minute, did he win? No, 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 this is bullshit. I want to talk to the manager. Yeah, I definitely won. Get the manager. Is there a problem here, gentlemen? Yeah, Marvin, you tell him what you told me. Okay, so I bet on even numbers, and it landed on double zero? Correct. So did I win? No. Well, well you see, double zero is an even number, because each person gets zero. And double zero is exactly how many house payments you've made this month, Marvin. So why the hell are you spending money in my casino? It was only $20. Get the fuck out! Okay. Uh, what about my friend? He's colorblind, and zero looks red to him. Get the fuck out. Okay, let's go to the strip club. Uh, can someone grease the pole, please? Oh, sweet Jesus. If I had any money left, I'd give it to her, and she'd forget I existed. Excuse me, ma'am. What are you willing to do for three dollars? Uh, nothing. You're a cop. Oh, damn it, Simmons. We're still dressed like cops. Of course she's not willing to have sex with you in exchange for three dollars. Uh, ma'am, we are cops, but when we get off duty, you should talk to him. He's a very nice man. Okay, whatever. I want to leave. No, Marvin, come on. Have some fun. Look at the bitch. That's someone's daughter. I have a daughter. Ma'am, what do I have to do to make sure my daughter doesn't end up like you? Don't kick her out of the house at 16. Okay, I'll write that down. But what about 18? I don't know. I didn't make it that far. How many kids do you have? Four and a half. What does half mean? Oh, all right, bitch. I got $350 in one. So let me see that ass twerk a little bit. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, hey. Meet me in the bathroom right now. Oh, what's wrong, Simmons? Are you sad that she wouldn't have sex with you for $3? Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. You think the next stripper will do it? No? Okay, well, how about this? I got one more dollar. You think we can do it for four? Yeah, yeah, we'll get her to do it. Next stripper, please! Coming up next on stage, we have Clarissa. Oh, no way. No fucking way, boys. It's the Applebee's waitress. Hi! Hey, you guys again? You walked out without paying your bill. Yeah, well, we had a really important call. At the casino! <laughs> Actually, they robbed us. Well, that came out of my pay. Oh, sorry. Is that why you're dancing here? I work two jobs to provide for my son. Well, that's sad. Simmons, ask her the question. Ma'am, what are you willing to do for $4? Nothing. Leave me alone. Oh, look, you made Simmons sad. Look, please, he really just wants to have sex with a woman tonight for a ridiculously small amount of money. Well, I really need the money. Okay. Wait, so that's a yes? Yes. Get on the ground, bitch! What? You're under arrest! What? what? 
Yeah, you're under arrest for prostitution. We got her, Simmons. Yeah, I always get him with the puppy dog eyes. Wait, wait, what's going on? Oh, every week me and Simmons go to strip clubs to see if we can arrest the strippers for prostitution. Simmons usually does get them. She's gonna lose her job at Applebee's. Yeah. Hey, what you doing, my girlfriend? Get him, Greg. I got you, baby. Oh, look, Simmons, a challenger. Get him, Marvin. What, me? What you want, old man? And then nothing. I don't want anything. Marvin here said he was gonna pap your girlfriend. What? I, I didn't say I'd pap. They said they'd pap, and I, I said I'd pap. It was at Applebee's. Me and you outside right now. I'm gonna beat your ass. What? Go on, Marvin. Kick his ass. What? No, I'm gonna lose. Come on, Marvin. It's a classic strip club fight. You got him. He looks like a bitch. What? I, I can't fight. I'm not Come gonna... on, Marvin. You can do it. No. Uh... Uh, Marvin, what happened to you? He had the time of his life, that's what happened. Oh, well, I'm glad you enjoyed your boys' night out. No, Marvin, I know you lost that fight, but we arrested that guy and he's in jail for assault now. A fight? Oh, yeah, uh, it was at Applebee's. They only gave him four mozzarella sticks and things got pretty heated. Oh my god, guys, I had the night of my life. Man, boys' night out, that was a blast. Woohoo! I had burgers, cash, and ass! Woo! Talk about a night to live for. Ooh, man, we need to do this more often. <laughs> Ass, what is he talking about? Oh, uh, we, we went to a donkey show at Applebee's where, uh, where the donkeys, they, they get up on stage and dance. Yeah. It, yeah. Uh, anyway, me and Simmons are going to go back to selling calendars. Come on, Simmons, let's get on the invisible police horse. Marvin, Jeffy, get in here. Sorry, baby, I was wiping Jeffy. And it was a stinky one. Marvin, he's 19 years old. He can wipe his own butt. You would think so, but I don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes after I wipe my butt, I just smack it to the wall. And then other times I stick so much toilet paper in my butt crack, I look like a peacock. See, that's why I had to wipe him. Wait, what's all this stuff? I went Halloween costume shopping. Halloween's not for two more weeks. I know, Marvin, but I had to get costumes before they sold out. Look, I got Jeffy a ducky costume. Wah, wah. A Ninja Turtle costume. What's up, my ninjas? Jeffy, don't say that. I got a Cookie Monster costume and a piglet. Oh, piglet all day. I'm gonna go try this baby on. You're not gonna put that on before bed. Yes, before bed. Marvin, look, I also got this Chucky doll. Why would you get a Chucky doll? Because it's cool and it talks. Press the button. <sighs> I'll kill you. I'll slaughter your whole family. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so fun. He has over 25 different catchphrases. Press it again. Okay. I'm going to kill you, you bald piece of shit. <laughs> Wait a minute. How would he know I'm bald? I don't know, Marvin. It's just technology. Well, no, he only has 25 catchphrases. What are the odds that one of them's about a bald person? Press it again. <gasps> he just said press it again. Yeah, Marvin, it's probably on demo mode. Press it. <sighs> I'm not on demo mode, and I'm not a toy. Open this box so I can kill you. <laughs> He just said he's not on demo mode. I, I think this doll is possessed. Marvin, you're crazy. <gasps> Look, Marvin, the news! Breaking news, McKay. The toy company is saying that their toys are possessed. We have a press conference with a police officer now. Hey there, Officer Guy here. Uh, so we've been informed by the toy manufacturer that some of the toys they produce are going to become possessed on Friday the 13th, which is right now because it's past midnight. So be on the lookout for killer toys. Uh, we have reports of 15 murders so far. Like we got a Mr. Potato Head that's been killing people. We got some hungry, hungry hippos that have taken a few kids' fingers off. So if you have a possessed toy in your house, put them in a box and return them to the store for a full refund. Baby, look! The news said that toys are possessed. That doll is possessed. No, he's not, Marvin. You're being being silly. Then why would the news say that? Because it was probably a Friday the 13th Fool's Day joke. That doesn't even make any sense. Hey, Danny, check the fit. Piggy as fuck. Jeffy. Oink, oink as fuck. Jeffy. Where's Winnie the shit? Jeffy, it's Winnie the Pooh and stop cussing so much. Well, stop being bald so much. Haha, <laughs> good one. Baby, he just said ha ha, good one. I know that's not one of his 25 catchphrases. Marvin, it's just motion activated. Yeah, let's say that. This doll is possessed, baby. I think we should take it out of the box. Please. No. Danny, where's Tigger? Wait a minute. Tigga. It's more soft. Jeffy, don't say that. Buddy, my piggy costume's got a fupa. The bigger the fupa, the tastier the chalupa. Go to bed, Jeffy. Oh, Daddy, I'm actually gonna run down to the market and have some roast beef, and then I'm gonna wee-wee-wee all in my pants. No, Jeffy, I just changed you. So we opening this box or what? No, we're not opening this box. I'm gonna take this box to the kitchen so no one opens it. Aww. All right, Chucky, you're gonna stay right here. Come on, man. What, Chef Peepee, what are you cooking? Chicken Alfredo with red food coloring so it looks like guts because of Friday the 13th. <laughs> looks yummy. Ah, oh, this scary ass doll. No, no, this doll is possessed. There's no way that doll's possessed. He knows how to compliment some food. Whatever you do, do not open up this box. Whatever, whatever. Leave me alone so I can cook. Come on, man, I'm real hungry. Just open the box. Well, you did compliment your boy's cooking, so I guess I could open it for a little bit, not too long. But you gotta go back in. Okay. 
This is some good chicken Alfredo, Chef Pee Pee. Thank you. Finally, damn, somebody said that shit. God. Hey, can you pass the pepper? Oh, yeah, I know my boy needs some pepper. Put some pepper in your stuff. Here you go. <laughs> you're my bad. You know, Chef Pee Pee, you're a cool dude. Yeah, yeah, you good, Chucky, but tell me something. What the hell happened to your face, man? Oh, well, I died in a toy store during a shootout with the police. Ah, uh, shit, it happens, it happens. Yeah, so now my soul was trapped in this doll. Oh, man, that sucks, huh? But personal question, does your dick still work? Oh, yeah, they made a whole movie about it. Oh, that's great, man, that's great. But tell me, uh, where are your personal hobbies, man? What do you like to do? I like to kill people. No. Oh, man, it's always the white boys and the gingers. <laughs> but tell me about yourself. What do you like to do? Uh, what don't I do? I cook, I clean, uh, I slave. Man, I just wish everybody would die. I can help you with that. Oh, man, nice joke, Chucky, but I know you're just joking. I'm not joking. I'll kill everybody. Uh, I think it's time to get back in the box before Marvin gets mad. No, nope, I don't think so. I think I'm going to kill everyone. Oh, God! Now Marvin's going to be mad at me. Marvin, I can't believe you took my Chucky doll from me. He's possessed! No, he's not, Marvin. You're just paranoid. He's supposed to say scary things. Hey, you want to die? Wow, I didn't know he could walk. He can! Is that a real knife? Yeah, you want to feel it. Look, Marvin, he's actually stabbing me! Is that real blood? Yeah, no, hold still. <laughs> Chippy! You ever heard of knocking, Daddy? Me and Peppa Pig were about to pork. We were gonna do it piggy style. And I was gonna take the dirt road home because the Red River was flowing. Chippy, call 911. That doll's trying to kill me. I'm on it, Daddy. Let me grab my phone. Alright, 911. I think I'm on hold. That's not a real phone, Chippy! Yes, it is. Why is the cord plugged in? Oh, fuck. Chippy, use your other phone! Okay. Alright, Daddy, I got my phone. Hurry up and call 911. Alright. Ella tiene un gato. What the hell was that? It's Duolingo, learn to speak Mexican. Well, Jeffy, no, call 911. What's your number? Give me the phone. Come on, please answer, please answer. 911, what's your emergency? Oh, thank God. Well, wait a minute. You sound like the cop from the news. Yeah, I don't want the fame to go to my head, but yeah, I was on TV. So that means you're gonna understand what I'm talking about. So, there's this crazy toy. Oh, it, this is about to kill a toy. Yeah, 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 this is toy, and it killed my wife. Oh, it killed your wife. Well, in that case, maybe you should send him to my house. He'd be doing me a big favor. <laughs> Please? No, I need you to come over. Well, if you just put him back in the box, he'll get your refund. No, 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 I just need you to come over and help me. So you don't want the refund. Most people are calling about the refund. I don't give a shit about the refund! It's trying to kill me, and I want you to stop it from killing me! Oh. Okay, oh, I think I see what's going on. You want me to come over and help you? Yes! Yeah, see, the problem is that sounds scary. Well, it's your job to help me! Yeah, it is my job. All right, whatever, I'll be right there. Oh, thank you. Hey, Danny, I don't hear the guy at the door anymore. I think he left. Let me go check. I don't want to open up the door in case he's still there. Let me check under the door. See if I can see him. No, I don't see him. Hey there. <laughs> Oi, no es miracles. <laughs> what, Jeff, you're still doing Duolingo? We're trapped in this room and we can't get out. Podríamos escapar por la ventana y encontrar algunas putas. What did you just say, Jeffy? Let's escape out the window. Oh, good idea. Look, is there someone at the door? That's probably the cops. But we can't answer because we're trapped in the room. Yeah, yeah. I'll get it. <laughs> Die. Whoa, excited little fella, aren't you? Well, could you stop brandishing that knife at me, please? Oh, yeah, sorry. Anyway, we're the police and we got a call that there was a killer toy here. Oh no, no killer toy here. Oh, that's good. It must have just been a prank call. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of calls about killer toys tonight. Hey, wait, where's your mommy and daddy? They're dead. Oh, you hear that? Simmons, he's an orphan. Oh, he's never getting adopted. Yeah, he is an ugly orphan. Hey, buddy, what are you doing with that knife? Oh, I was cutting cucumbers. Oh, what are you making, pickles? Who makes pickles? Oh, yeah, you're right. People usually just buy them. Oh, what happened to your face, buddy? I ran into a door. Was it a door full of scissors? <laughs> Good one, Simmons. Anyway, it's raining. I like to state obvious things. It helps me focus. You're ugly. Simmons thinks you're ugly, too. Oh, man, you can read my mind. <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, uh, we're just gonna take off. But if you are a killer toy, could you stop by my house later and help me kill my wife? Will do. All right, thanks, buddy. Ooh, wait a minute. Does that mean you are a killer toy? No. Killer toy says what? What? Huh? Gotcha. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest, killer toy. Five bucks, he runs. Double it up in Simmons. Deal. Damn it. 
me. Freeze! Okay, ugly, we got your corner. Now just turn yourself in or we'll beat you up and make you even uglier. But I didn't do nothing. Well, he has a point. I can't really prove that he did do nothing. I might look there's a body. A body? Where? Right there, right there. You see the clue too? Where? On the couch. On the couch? I don't see it. Look down, look down. There is a dead body. Now let's put these clues together. A dead body, a scary guy with a knife, and a 911 call about a dead wife. You did kill her. Oh man, you guys caught me. Okay, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. I always pick the hard way. Simmons, the box. Hold it. Gotcha. We got him the easy way. <laughs> okay, Marvin, you can come out. We got him. Are you sure? Oh yeah, I'm sure. He's dead? Oh no, he's not dead. Even better. We put him back in the box and we returned him for a refund. Wait, he's still alive so he can escape and come and kill me? Oh, he's not gonna escape. That box is closed. And you got a refund? Oh yeah, we didn't even need a receipt. It's free returns within 14 days. Well, can I have that hundred dollars? Hell no! You didn't even want the refund, remember? You made me come and deal with him. Oh, well, my wife is still dead. Can you try to revive her? <sighs> I guess I'll put my doctor outfit on and try. Okay, she's alive. Look, Marvin, the doctor revived me! Yeah, it wasn't easy bringing somebody back to life when they've been dead for five-ish minutes, but I did it. And she might have some permanent brain damage from the lack of oxygen, but other than that, she'll be okay. It's fine. She's not the only person I know that has brain damage. Hey, Daddy, I frosted Peppa Pig's turds. Peppa Pink and her booty hole brown. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Cody, that's my line. Yeah, dude, shut up and know your role! Sorry, I just wanted to say it this time. No! Shut up! Hey. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Oh, dude, let's play Tyrone versus the cops. What kind of game is that? Oh, bro, it's the sick game where you play as this guy named Tyrone and you have to versus the cops. Hey, yeah, give me back my rights. <laughs> well, well, let's play it. Can I download it for PlayStation 5? No, 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 dude, it's on PC. Well, I don't have a PC. I'm not sweaty enough. Cody, do you have a PC? Yeah, I have one at home, but my mom limits my screen time and their parental controls on it, so I can't go on any websites that start with a P or an X. So I have to search Big Wee Wee on Google Images, and sometimes I find a good one. Oh, well, if we don't have a computer, how else can we play? You can play it on the Steam Deck, dude. We don't have a boat, Joseph. It's not a boat, dude. Look, look at the commercials right there. <gasps> oh, that's convenient. <laughs> hey there, I'm TikTok superstar Shane Bastion. Now I bet you're at home playing your Atari or on your computer and you can't leave the house, but not me. I can game on the go because I've got a Steam Deck. I'm playing Tyrone vs. the Cops and I can play it anywhere. What other console can you play on the go? Other than that one console I can't legally say the name of. But get yourself a Steam Deck! Only 650 smackaroons! <laughs> Whoa! I want that! Oh, no, no, Junior, stop eating my hair. Joseph, get him off! Dude, you know he does that when he wants something. I know, but we can't afford it. Pinch his ear, it's the only way. Come on, Junior. Ow, ow, okay, okay, damn! I want that! But Junior, that's 650 smackaroons! That's way too many smackaroons! Where are we gonna get that many smackaroons? I don't have any smackaroons. Do you have any, Joseph? I'm broke as a joke, bro. Well, Cody, do you have any smackaroons we can borrow? Let me see. I only have 140 smackaroons. Whoa, Cody, where'd you get so many smackaroons? Well, I work at my aunt's bakery selling macaroons for smackaroons. She gives me five smackaroons for every dozen macaroons. Oh, well, we only need 500 more smackaroons. Well, that was close. You were 10 off. But still, Junior, where are we gonna get all those smackaroons? Oh, I got an idea. We can have a yard sale today. It's nighttime. Yeah, we can have a nighttime yard sale. No one's ever heard of it, and that's why we'll make so much money. So go to your house and grab all the stuff you're willing to sell. Okay. All right, Joseph, you go to your house, too. I live in a dumpster. Go to your dumpster and grab stuff you want to sell. Okay, dude. All right, yeah, we're gonna have a. Uh, wait, you left Ken. Oh. I was about to sell him. Okay, Junior, I'm back with my stuff. Yeah, me too, dude. Ooh, show me what you have. Wait, Junior, where's your stuff? Oh, I looked at my toys and I decided I don't want to get rid of any of my stuff. Oh, so you want us to get rid of our stuff? Yeah, what do you have? Well, I have this copy of Over the Hedge on DVD, Holographic Collector's Edition. Fuck with your boy. And I got this sticky Hulk. <laughs> He's not very sticky anymore, but <laughs> give me 20 minutes, I'll make him sticky. And I got this jumbo sticky hand from Dave and Buster's, still in the packaging. I could get at least 100 tickets for that bad boy. And check it out, I have this original classic Kodak camera. It even still has two pictures left on it. Oh, but, okay, well, maybe it's more like one picture now. Oh, might as well take a selfie with it while I have it. <laughs> okay, guys, say cheese. 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 Oh shit, I think I blinked. Well, I guess we'll find out in one to two business days. Dude, let me show you what I got. I got a sick Naruto book. Man, Sasuke went nuts in this shit. Oh, and a whole bunch of football cards. But my favorite one is this autographed Deshaun Watson card. It came with a free massage, but I never cashed in on it. It doesn't look autographed. Oh, it's sticky. That's how he signs it. Oh. Yeah, my grandma gave me this crucifix too. But, uh, my life's so shitty, dude. They can't 
be a god. There's no way. What, Joseph? Why would you throw that? Dude, I don't need it. My life sucks. But what if you get cursed or some shit? It's not real. It's not gonna happen, dude. What? There's someone at the door. Maybe it's pizza. Why would you think it's pizza? Well, why else would the door ring at night? Come on, Cody. It might be a lot of pizzas. Okay. Hello? Ah! Junior, why are there guns at your door? I don't know. What do you guys want? They're not guys, Junior. They're women. Really? Those are some ugly girls. What do you ladies want? Oh, I think they're mad that we threw the cross. Well, we didn't throw the cross. That was Joseph. Um, Junior thinks you wanted to date. Oh, no, we don't want it. You can have it. Uh, Junior, take the cross. Just take the cross. Oh, yeah. I actually did want it. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. Junior, thanks. Dude, was there pizza at the door? No, there was none. <laughs> Junior, <laughs> that's so fucking funny. That's a hoot. That's a hoot and a half. Oh, my God, Junior. A real knee slapper. That was a regular goof of Palooza. I'm gonna write that one down. Oh, you asked if there was pizza at the door, and there was none. <laughs> but because there was no pizza, but there were nuns at the door. Why were there nuns at the door? Oh, they wanted to bring back your Jesus. What? I told you I don't need that stupid thing. Ugh. Why would you do that? Because I don't need it. Not you, Joseph. I was talking to Logan. Why would you reuse the footage of the cross going out the window, you lazy sack of shit? Just throw it again. What, do you think I wouldn't notice? And you, Joseph, why did you throw the cross again? Because I don't want it, dude. But Joseph, those nuns at the door, one of them has a shotgun. They might kill us. Oh, damn. Yeah, they were really mad. But they're not going to come back, right? <laughs> Oh, that must be pizza. No, Junior, it's the nuns again. Well, let me check my doorbell camera. Can you grab my phone? Yeah, sure. Let me see. Uh-oh, Cody, it's them again. I told you, Junior. Uh, do, do we go answer it? No, of course not. That other one has a gun. Yeah, yeah, we, we probably shouldn't answer it. Let's ignore it. Well, guys, we're just going to ignore them. No one answer the door. Good idea, Junior. Oh, wait, why don't we call the cops? Even better idea. Can I use your phone so we keep looking at the cameras? Yeah, hold on. Okay, Junior, it's already ringing. 911, what's your emergency? Uh, yeah, we have a problem. Well, yeah, you called 911, so I assumed you did. So there's two nuns at my front door. Nuns? Yeah, like the old ladies. Uh-huh. And one has a shotgun. Oh, yeah, I could see how that would be a problem. Okay, well, obviously don't answer the door. Yeah, we answered it earlier. I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, so can you come here? Oh, okay, yeah, I'm on my way, but what are they doing right now? Cody, what are they doing? Oh, hold on, let me see. Oh, no, Junior, they're doing emotes. What's that? Oh, no, that one's hitting the gritty hard as fuck. Oh, my God, they're doing four, Fortnite emotes. Oh, no, those are very dangerous nuns. J just stay inside and don't answer the door. Okay, please come. Okay. What are you doing now, Cody? Let me see. Oh, no, Junior, one of them's doing the Macarena, and the other one's riding her gun like a pony. Oh, no. What do we do? There's nothing we can do, Junior. We just have to wait for the cops. Or Joseph can take his Jesus statue back, because that's all they want. I don't want it, dude. It could save our lives, Joseph. Oh, no. Junior, look! Now she's mining for materials! She's about to crank 90s, Junior! And look, she has the pig squeak axe! And she has the rocket backpack! I don't even have that one yet! Oh no! If she gets 999 of all materials, she can build up to my window and kill us that way! Oh no, Junior, look! That one's eating popcorn, and the other one's trying to solve a Rubik's Cube and clearly doesn't know what the hell she's doing! Oh, where's the cops? Please, cops, hurry up! Oh no, Junior, look! They're playing patty cake! Please, you nuts! Oh good, the cops are here! Put your hands up! Yeah, yeah, now drop that gun! Oh no, don't shoot him, don't shoot him! Oh, she shot him! And the other one has the cop's gun now! Oh god, no, she's teabagging the cop! The cop's dead! No, no one's gonna help us! Joseph, just grab that cross! Nope! For God's sake, Joseph, go get your cross! Yeah! Come on, Joseph, grab it! Yeah! You're acting like a child, Joseph! Nope, 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 nope! Joseph, grab it right now! No! We're gonna die! So! So? What do you mean, so? Well, hold on, maybe the cop's not dead! He got shot in the face with a shotgun, Junior! Well, maybe they missed and he's just faking his death. Let's, let's see. Wait, Junior, I only see one nun. Where's the other one? Oh, dear God, Junior. Yeah, I think he's dead. Well, I was hoping he was still alive. Well, now you got your answer. Oh, well, look, there's nothing to worry about. They're outside. We're in here. As long as we have this camera view of them, we can just keep watching them. But, oh, no, Junior, what are they doing now? Oh, they're loading their guns. What? Oh, no, Junior. They shot the camera. We lost our feed. Oh, well, uh, well as long as they stay outside, we're good. <laughs> Instead of running in circles. Yeah, that's a good idea. Ah! Run, kitty, kitty, run! Okay, guys, we're gonna hide in my closet. Good idea, dude. Shouldn't we close the doors? No, Cody, we might run out of oxygen. Duh. The doors aren't airtight. Look, I'm claustrophobic, Cody. I don't want to close the doors. Look, we gotta think of a plan. 
probably fight back like the people did on United 93. They all die. But they still fought back and died with honor. Yeah, they die fighting, dude. Yeah, would you rather get shot or at least grab the gun before you get shot? It doesn't seem like it makes much difference. We're gonna fight back. How about you guys distract the nuns and I go outside and grab the cop's reboot card? Junior, this is real life. People don't drop reboot cards. Well, maybe he did. So look, you guys distract the nuns. I'm gonna go outside and grab the card. I feel like you're just trying to leave us here. No, I wouldn't leave my two best buds to get killed and me get away safely. Oh, guys, what is that? Is that a Nerf gun? But yeah. Grab it and give it to Joseph. But it's a Nerf gun. They have real guns. But dude, I got a nice shot. Yeah, he, he, he can shoot back. And, oh wait, Cody, is that your violin case? What, yeah, how the hell did that get here? I grabbed it and, and hit it because you suck at playing the violin. I'm good at playing the violin. Oh, so look, you pull out the violin and you play your horrible music. Their ears are going to bleed. And then, Joseph, you shoot them and I run outside and grab the reboot card, okay? I mean, why don't we just stay in here, dude? They'll never find us. I think they found us. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, they're looking for us. Oh, I hope they don't find us. Oh, I really hope. Oh, we really should have closed the closet door. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we should have done that. Yeah. Everyone be quiet. Everyone don't move. If you don't move, they can't see you. They're leaving. Guys. Guys, I can't believe that actually worked. It worked. Oh, yeah, I was loud. I was loud. Was I being loud? Yeah, I was loud. How loud was I being? a little bit. It's like it was close. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. It's my bad. It, you guys can shoot me first if, if that makes it better. Oh, oh, don't do that. Okay, guys, guys. Before you shoot Cody, uh, he knows how to play the violin. Yeah, he's good. And and, and, and and you know how the people in the Titanic, they played a song while they died? He, yeah, yeah, so Cody would like to play a goodbye song on his violin. Uh, okay. Yeah, can, can you do that? Okay. Oh, okay, get the violin. Okay, get okay, the violin. Yeah, oh, Cody, okay. hurry up. Yeah, get the violin. Okay, I got the violin. Oh, yeah, you guys are pulling up chairs. Oh, and you got popcorn. That's, yeah. Oh, man. Now that you guys are here, I'm getting kind of nervous. Yo, Cody, you better play your ass off. Yeah, knock my sauce off, dude. Okay, uh, I'm going to play My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion from Titanic. Oh, you, you like that. Okay, good. Here we go. <laughs> it's working! They're, they're paralyzed! Come on, Joseph, let's run! Run! Uh, he stopped us. Oh, yeah, he stopped us. She's good. Yeah, she wouldn't let us leave. Nope, nope. Okay, well, I don't love you for that. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. They're, they're, they're mad. Yeah. Jesus. It's been nice knowing you. Okay, whatever you want us to do, we'll do it. Just please, just let us live. I told you I don't want that! Uh, you know what? This is my favorite thing ever. I'm, I'm gonna cherish this forever. What? That's it? Uh, you guys killed a cop just for that? They just really want you to have that, Joseph. Jesus, that was, that was crazy. What the hell? Don't even let go of that. After, just keep it in your hands at all times. I, I will, I will. So, Joseph, you said your grandma gave that to you? Yeah, dude, but I didn't think she was going to be on my ass about it. My phone's ringing. God, it's her. Hello? Joseph, what the shit? Why are my sisters from church, Gloria Lisa and Betty May? Telling me that you threw that cross I gave you out the damn window. Cause I don't need it, Grandma. Bullshit! You saw they were packing heat. Yeah, I saw that. Look, look, I, I will never throw it out of the window again. I'm sorry. Good, you better not. Now give Grandma some sugar. I love you. Love you too, Grandma. Well, Joseph, you better hang that up so no demons come after us. Or nuns. Yeah, we don't want to get none down. <laughs> Marvin, we need to wake Jeffy up so he can have breakfast before school. You're right. Jeffy, get in here. Marvin, they removed Aunt Jamumu off the syrup bottle. What? Aunt Jamumu, the lady that was on the syrup bottle, she ain't there no more. Marvin, I think he's talking about how they took Aunt Jemima off the bottle. Oh, they did that like two years ago, Dougie. Why'd they do that? Because they said syrup was racist or something. <laughs> well, I don't know who no PR telling company is, but I'm going to have to use Mrs. Butter's works because she got the fat ass. Well, then use that then. All right. Jeffy, get in here. Hey, Danny, can I wear my high fuck frog IG school today? No, Jeffy. Why? Because you're going to distract the class. Well, they don't have to look at me. Take them off, Jeffy. Now, did you eat breakfast? No. But can I drink this entire bottle of syrup for breakfast? No. Why? You never let me do anything fun. All you do is say no. He kind of has a point, Marvin. You do say no a lot. He keeps asking to do stupid shit. Well, Marvin, I have an idea. The other day, I was at the thrift store, and I found this coin. It says yes on one side and no on the other side. So from now on, instead of you just saying no all the time, we can flip it for the answer. That's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. I like that idea. Mommy, can I wear my high as fuck frog eyes you school today? I don't know, Jeffy. Let's see. It says no. You can't wear it. Darn it! I like this idea. That was a good idea, baby. Thank you. Mommy, can I drink this entire bottle of syrup for breakfast? I don't know.
It says yes. <laughs> oh, Jamie, that's disgusting. <laughs> Jeffy, now he's gonna die of diabetes. You have to go to school. Well, let's get the coin. Can I skip school today? I, you can't skip school. Now, Marvin, we have to flip the coin to see what it says. Skipping school should be off limits. Jeffy, it said yes, you can skip school. Yay, I love this coin. Now, Daddy, what have you had for breakfast? Nothing. Well, can I make you a milkshake and no matter what I put in it, you have to drink it? No. Coin. Yes! <laughs> Jeffy's going to make my daddy a healthy breakfast milkshake. We're going to start off with one egg. Also some garlic. Oh, yeah, definitely mayonnaise. That's breakfast. Oh, yeah. Harder. Harder. Oh, yeah. Maybe mayonnaise everywhere, daddy. Oh, yeah. All right. And then now some mustard. And then also some chili beans. Oh, yeah. That sounds like poop. All right, and then obviously green beans because my daddy makes me eat green beans all the time. And then some corn. Oh yeah, that's gonna come out of his poop lighter. And then some toilet paper. Whenever he's done going to the bathroom, he can wipe. And then obviously, don't forget some Pepto-Bismol just in case he gets sick. All right, and then we're gonna top it off with some oat milk. All right, let's get this baby on the road. <laughs> oh yeah, my daddy's gonna love this, but I feel like it's missing something. Hmm. Oh, a cactus! For that one. All right, it's perfect. Now let's take it to daddy. All right, daddy, order up. Your breakfast milkshake is ready. Bone apple titties. Wait, wait, what's in this? Diarrhea. What? No, I'm just kidding, but there is toilet paper in there. Well, what's that blue thing? Cactus. I'm not drinking a milkshake with a cactus in it, Jeffy. But, Daddy, the coin said that you had to drink it, and I even got you a Chuck E. Cheese straw. No, I don't care what the coin says. I'm not going to drink your disgusting throw milkshake. I don't have to do it. I don't care what the coin says. I don't have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? I am the Blood Hole Goblin. I'm here to stop plot holes from ending the video too early. Plot holes? What plot holes? The milkshake, Marvin. You have to drink the milkshake. Well, no, I don't. I don't have to do what that stupid coin tell me to do. Yes, you do, because the coin is cursed. <laughs> well, the coin is cursed. Where'd you get the coin? I got it from the thrift store. A cursed thrift store. Everything in there is cursed, except for the prices. <laughs> Okay, so how is the coin cursed? Well, you must do everything the coin tells you for 15, no, 20 questions, or else you and all your loved ones will be thrown in a pit of hell to burn until your flesh falls from your bones. Oh, 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 and the only person that can ask the questions is Jeffy, because he asked the first question. <laughs> Uh, okay, Jeffy, hurry up and ask me questions like, did I fart? Have I blinked? No! The questions have to be a task. Like, you have to do something, and it has to be funny. Uh, okay, so Jeffy, ask me a question. No! Drink the milkshake first, Marvin. I'll be watching. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so why is it happening to me? Why'd you have to go to a cursed thrift store? I'm sorry. Okay, let me let me try to drink this milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I couldn't stop throwing up. That was the worst milkshake ever. You want another one? What? No, no, no. Oh, thank god I said no. Oh darn, I really wanted to make you another milkshake, daddy. All right, Jeffy, hurry up and ask some questions. All right, can I shave off your mustache and turn you into a girl? No, no. no. <laughs> Okay, I don't look that bad. That's pretty bad. Daddy, what are your pronouns? Because now you get to put them on Facebook and Instagram and act like people give a fuck. Look, everyone just stop looking at me. Jeffy, ask another question. All right, Daddy. Can we TP the neighbor's house with toilet paper? Let's see if you guys are committing a crime tonight. Yes. Oh, well, I actually don't like the neighbors, so let's go do it, Jeffy. Sweet. Okay. okay, Jeffy, we're going to throw toilet paper all over the house. So be really quiet, okay? Okay. I'm going to go first. Yeah. Ha ha, see, there's toilet paper all over your house. You go now. All right. Run! 
Hold on, honey. I'm going to go check and see what was banging on the garage door. It sounded like a raccoon. Toilet paper? Now, who would be handing out free toilet paper in this economy? <laughs> now, wait just a darn second. Did someone try TP in my house? Those damn hooligans. I'm going to go ask the neighbor and see if they saw anything. Oh, mommy, it's wild. It's crazy in this bitch. We TP'd the whole house. The whole house is covered in toilet paper. It looks like a mummy. My heart's racing. And if you're running away, I heard sirens. My life is a movie. Are you guys okay? I'm as okay as I can be after being chased by the cops. Oh, hold on. There's someone at the door. I'll, I'll get it. Hello? You guys speak to Marvin, Blake. I am Marvin. Jesus Christ. I won't ask about your pronouns. I'll just check them out on Facebook later. But I came by to let you know that there's been a crime committed at the Huckerdoo household. What crime? Someone thought it would be funny to TP the Huckerdoo home. And I think one of them was a retard because they just threw the entire roll of toilet paper right at the garage door. Made me think it was a raccoon. Oh, well, I, I didn't hear anything or see anything. Okay, I just didn't know if maybe your uh, Nest doorbell camera or something caught all the footage. Oh, no, I don't, I don't pay for that to work. It's just, it's just there. Oh, so like a scarecrow, huh? Yeah, anyway, I just want to let you know that I will be reporting this to the HOA. So just keep your eyes peeled. I do have a question for you. Did you, uh, like, cut the whole thing off or just tuck it in your booty cheeks? Uh, I, I'm just dressing up. Okay. Uh, well then, uh... I want you to get back to transitioning, okay? All right, bye, bye. Who was at the door, Marvin? It was Hank Huckerdoo. What? Did he know you TP'd his house? Did he call the cops? He didn't call the cops. He doesn't know it's us, but I did get an idea. What if all of Jesse's remaining questions are about the Huckerdoos, and we can torture them instead of me? Marvin, that's me. No, it's better than them than me. Jeffy, do you have any other questions about the Huckerdoos? Um, yeah. Can we order 12 pieces to the Huckerdoos' house as a prank? Let's ask the coin. <gasps> yes. It says yes. Yes! Yeah! Hello, sir. I got the 12 pizzas you ordered. Who the fuck would order 12 pizzas at 11 o'clock at night? I don't know. Maybe I'm having a pizza party. Well, I'm not, so you can take them back with you. We don't want them. Return to sender, capiche? But sure, someone's got to pay for these pizzas. Listen, we don't want the goddamn pies, honey. Yeah. This pizza boy thinks that we ordered 12 pies at 11 o'clock at night. We didn't. I think he's a retard. So I'm gonna let you deal with it, okay? You're good with dealing with kids with special needs. Now, young man, we did not order 12 pizzas. Well, ma'am, listen, someone's gotta pay the $300.22 for all these pizzas. Well, we don't have that kind of money. Well, you could always pay in another way. Let's just say instead of you giving me a tip, I give you a tip. Well, I do love pizza. Uh-oh! Uh, uh you know what? Never mind. I think I'll just take the cash. Oh my god, Jimmy, they really tried to deliver the pizza. <laughs> oh man, that was so funny. As long as we're using that coin to mess with other people instead of me. Marvin, I don't like this coin. It's evil and it's meant to do bad things. I wish we could just get rid of it. We can't get rid of it until we ask it like 13 more questions. There must be something we can do. Hmm. I do have an idea. Hey, plot hole goblin, get in here. <laughs> what do you want? Well, we're kind of getting tired of asking the coin questions. Well, too bad. You have to. Well, Jeffy, ask the coin this. <laughs> okay, I got it. <laughs> what? what? No, no, no. Jeffy, ask the coin. Can we stop asking the coin questions and not be cursed? Okay. Can we stop asking the coin questions and not be cursed? <laughs> no, you can't do that. But we're asking the coin. <laughs> Well, damn it! No! <laughs> Ask it again. Okay, can we stop asking the coin questions and not be cursed? No! Oh, damn it! Yes! Yay! We're not cursed anymore! You guys won this time, but I'll be back next time the video has a plot hole. <laughs> like the booger I wiped on the back of the couch like a year ago and it came to life. Hey Danny, can you give me 50 bucks so I can buy Fooski Ball? What's Fooski Ball? It's a game PJ we're selling at his garage sale. No, I don't have 50 bucks, Jeffy. Well, I guess I left my garage sale for nothing. No, hold up, PJ. I just gotta give my name to Puppy Dog Eyes. Works every time. Hey, daughter, can you please give me 50 bucks so I can buy Fooski Ball? No, Jeffy, we can't afford it. I hate you! Sorry, kid. Come back when you actually have the money. <laughs> Jeffy, I'm sorry. We just don't have money to buy stupid stuff like that. 
Marvin, our Chick Fil A's here. Oh, so you have money to buy food, but you don't have fifty bucks to give me for food skip ball? Dang it, they forgot our root beer. Oh, I hate it when they forget our drinks. Leave the lowest review possible. Okay. Look, Jeffy, I got an idea. Why don't you become an Uber Eats driver? What's Uber Eats? It's a food delivery service. So all, you just get paid to deliver people food. You can make fifty bucks in a day, and then you can buy your own damn food skip ball. Okay. I'm gonna go sign up right now. Baby, now that he has a job, he'll be out of the house, and I'll give us some alone time to get our chips blend. Yay! All right, Cody, it's your turn to bowl. Okay, here I go. Have <laughs> strike, bitches! Wait, no, you're supposed to roll. You can't throw, Cody. Yeah, that's cheating! Hey, guys, y'all about to go to work. Oh, where do you work, Jeffy? I'm an Uber Eats driver, so I deliver people food. Oh, well, we're hungry, right, guys? Yeah. Like, can we ride with you? Yeah, sure, come on. Let's go, guys. Ah! That'll do her. Slums all food. I love the smell of freshly cut grass. Honey, I'm done mowing the lawn. I'm parched. Pour me a glass of Sunkist. Ugh. Honey, the Sunkist. I want it now. Here you go, my hardworking man. Thanks, honey. Bitch, you didn't put any ice in this. I've been out in the hot sun all day, and you think I want to come inside and have some room temperature Sunkist? I'm sorry, I forgot. You know I like three pieces of ice in my Sunkist. I'll go get you some. Here you go. I don't even want it anymore. It's ruined. Okay, honey. Well, what would you like me to cook you for dinner? Well, I can't even trust you to pour me a decent glass of Sunkist. I don't think I can trust you to make dinner. I think we should just order some Uber Eats. Maybe some Mexican, like a chimichanga, and a chicken quesadilla, and some chips and quesa. That sounds good, honey. Kids, get down here. Yes, mother? I'm hungry. Well, me and your mother were thinking about ordering Mexican food tonight. Ooh, well, in that case, I would love some steak fajitas. Ooh, and some of that extra white stuff all over it. Sour cream? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that. I want a cheeseburger. Now, hold on just a darn second. Did you kids do your homework? Uh, uh no. Well, then you Mexican not have any food tonight. So go upstairs and do your homework. Aww. Let's try again tomorrow night. All right, honey, I'm going to order some of this Mexican food. Okay, Jeffy, where are we picking up food from? It says we gotta get some Mexican food from a food truck. You guys like Mexican food? Last time my family got food from a food truck, my mom had to have part of her colon removed, and now she has a colostomy bag. All right, guys, I just got the food from the food truck. Can you guys hold the food for me while I drive? Yeah, I will. Give me a bag. All right, hold that one, Junior. Oh, it smells so good. All right, guys, hold this one. Yeah, sure, dude. Woo, this shit smells good. Let's see what they got. Oh, guys, they got a chicken quesadilla. Oh, and some queso. Wait, wait, does this say nachos? It sure does. Oh, nigga, I love nachos. Oh, Jeffy, can we eat some of it? Sure, I don't think they would mind. Just don't spill any in my car. Oh, awesome. All right, guys, we're here. Stop eating it and box it back up. Muy delicioso, sir. Me, Junior, you want the other half of my changa? My quesadilla was mid. Hey, watch out, you almost stepped in the quiso. No, Cody, I don't want any of the chimichangas. I got to pull off the nachos. But box it back up because Jeffy has to deliver it. Oh, man. I hope you're hungry. Food's here. It is the food. Honey, it smells delicious. What the? There's queso everywhere. The driver must have hit every speed bump on the way here. Still looks better than you're cooking. <laughs> Wait, what, what the hell is this? Is this a half-eaten quesadilla? What is that? A half-eaten chimney? It looks like someone ate our food. This is unacceptable. I'm going to have to follow a complaint. All right, Jeffy, what's the next food place we're going to? I don't know, but I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Hey, is this the Uber Eats driver? Yeah. Are you full? Cause you ain't half my goddamn food. Now I think you need to issue me a refund. No. No? What do you mean no? You ain't half my goddamn food and now you won't give me my money back? You need to give me a refund right now. You'll be fine. Who is that? I don't know, I think it was your prank call. But our next order is chicken filet. I love chick fil a all right, Junior, I think there's some nuggies in here if you want a peep game. Oh, I want some nuggies. You guys want some nuggies? Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to sip on this milkshake for a little bit. Cookies and cream as fuck. Oh, honey, a Chick-fil-A's almost here. Oh, good. I can't 
can't wait to eat my Cobb salad with extra boiled egg. And I can't wait for my cookies and cream milkshake. I'm gonna be a fat piece of shit tonight. But Boynie was supposed to be on a diet. I'll go on the diet tomorrow. Tonight, cookies and cream. Boynie, you're already cheating on our diet? It's only day one. I cheat on everything, even you. What? Uh, hey, look, our food's almost here. I'm gonna go wait by the door like a dog. Cookies and cream, cookies and cream, cookies and cream, cookies and cream, cookies and cream. Ooh, it says he's pulling up cookies and cream. Does anyone see the house number 2159? No, I can't see anything. It's dark. And also, I'm eating chicken nuggets. Oh, that's fine. Oh, there he is. Milkshake time. Oh, I can't wait to drink it. Wait, where are you going, buddy? Oh, he's probably just turning around. Guys, I can't find this house anywhere. Yeah, it's really dark. You can't see any of the house numbers. I think we should just go home because my stomach hurts really bad and I have the poop from eating all this food. Me too. Yeah, and we can keep all the food because this cookies and cream milkshake is yummy as tits. <laughs> okay, now it's milkshake time. Yummy. Wait, where the fuck are you going? I'm right here, dumbass. Oh, I'm gonna have to chase him down. Hey, hey, jerk off. I'm right here. Stop the car. Jesus, what is wrong with this guy? Hey, hey, what the fuck is wrong with you? My house is back there. I couldn't see the numbers. Well, just give me my food and my milkshake. Okay. Jesus. Here's your food. Thank you. And here's your milkshake. Thanks. Wait, my milkshake is half fucking drink. Yeah, it was good. What, what the fuck? Wait, hey, 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 asshole. Hey. God damn it. Karen, I'm so mad I'm shaking. What's wrong, Pointy? That stupid ass, dumb ass, idiot ass, ass. Uber driver drove past the house twice and I had to chase him down and then when I caught up with him he drank half my goddamn milkshake. Well good Boynie, you're not supposed to be having milkshakes. It's not good Karen, it's bullshit. I'm gonna eat some fries and calm down. French fries? Boynie, you're supposed to be on a diet. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. He ate all my fries Karen, it's just crumbs left. Well good, they're not healthy for you. What about my two-piece chicken nugget? Did he touch that? God help him if he touched that one. It's a one-piece chicken nugget Karen, he ate all my food, that bastard. Well he didn't mess with my corpse salad. Of course not Karen. It's a Cobb salad. It's disgusting. It's not even food. I'm gonna get in my cop car and I'm gonna pull him over and arrest his ass. Boy, do you overreacting? No, I'm not, Karen. It's my cookies and cream. Nobody messes with my cookies and cream. Boy, do you just request a refund? That's not good enough, Karen. I want him dead. I want the death penalty. Junior Nick guy was so rude. All the way was half of his milkshake. I know. People are so mean these days. Oh, there's that bastard. Pull over, jerk off. Uh, guys, 12 is behind us. Tom Brady? No, nigga, the police. Pull over, Jeffy. Oh, we didn't speeding or anything. Hey! Hey, roll the window down, dickweed. Was I speeding, officer? No, but you drank my cookies and cream milkshake, so now you're going to jail. Get out of the car. Order, order, order. Mr. Guy, you are accusing Jeffy of eating, quote unquote, your goddamn food and half of your cookies and cream milkshake. Oh, I'm not accusing him. I know he did it. He said it was good. He drank my fucking milkshake, that goo. Mr. Guy, control yourself. Justice will be served. Jeffy, did you consume this man's food and half of his cookies and cream milkshake? Well, I didn't eat the food, but I did drink half the milkshake and it was good. Well, that's like saying you shot the sheriff, but you did not shoot the deputy. If you didn't eat this man's food, then who did? My friends in the car with me, they were hungry. Well, I hope your friends die too. Mr. Guy, control yourself. Jeffy, you are an Uber Eats driver. It is your job to deliver other people's food. You decided it would be a good idea to eat and drink other people's food. This is one of the most horrendous crimes I've ever heard of. So I am sentencing you to give this man a full refund for his food, and I am banning you from ever being an Uber Eats driver ever again. I feel like not enough has been done here. There's got to be a way to get the cookies and cream milkshake out of his stomach. I want his taste buds not to have never tasted my milkshake. I want the men in black machine to erase the memory of him drinking and enjoying my cookies and cream milkshake. I want him to throw up the milkshake right here in court and I drink it. I don't want him to experience happiness.
happiness ever again because he stole my happiness from me. Well, I can order him to buy you a new cookies and cream milkshake. Is, is that good? No, that's a different cookies and cream milkshake. I want my original milkshake out of his body. Well, unfortunately, I can't do that. So you're going to have to accept the fact that your milkshake is digesting in his belly. Then I want his poop. Yeah, his poop. I want to keep it so I can have part of that original milkshake. Done. Jeffy, I order you to poop in a container and give it to Mr. Guy. God damn it, will someone please glue that thing down? Thank you, sir. Court is dismissed. Now, hold on. He ain't but the two, Your Honor. Listen, we can't separate his food from his poop and your food from his poop, so you two just split the poop 50 50 and figure it out. I'm going home. Oh, hey, Jeffy, how was your Uber Eats job? It was great. Hey, oh, what are you doing here? Your son is going to poop in this container, and I'm going to eat it. What? He ate my cookies and cream milkshake, and I want it back. So go on, Jeffy. Squirt out my cookies and cream milkshake. Poop. Poop. Damn it. Poop. Why won't you poop? That's disgusting. No, it's revenge. Poop. Hey, Daddy, want a piece of candy? No. I'll have one, Jeffy. Here you go, Mommy. It's really good. I've already eaten 50 pieces. It's super chewy. Wait, you swallowed this? Yes, I just said I ate 50 pieces. Jeffy, you're not supposed to swallow gum. Yeah, you know, what am I supposed to do with it? You chew it and spit it out. What's the point in that? Well, because it tastes good. Exactly why I swallowed it. Listen, Jeffy, you're just supposed to chew it and spit it out. That's it. Have I been eating food wrong my whole life? I'm just supposed to chew it up and then spit it out? No, you can swallow food, just not gum. Oh, so I can chew and swallow food, but I have to spit out candy. No, you can swallow candy, just not gum. What? Jeffy, you chew gum for the flavor. Yeah, it's like toothpaste. It tastes really good, but you're not supposed to swallow it. Well, I eat a tube of toothpaste every single day. Is that why we're out of toothpaste? Jeffy, you're not supposed to swallow toothpaste. Well, then make me a list of all the things I'm not supposed to swallow. Okay, that's a very long list. Let's make a list of things you can swallow. Only food, and that's it. Wait a minute. Is this for fat people? What? So they can chew it and get the sensation of eating food, and then they don't have to swallow it, so they don't gain weight? Yes, Jeffy, it's for fat people. That's what gum is for fat people. Well, that's all you had to say. Okay, but maybe he still swallowed 50 pieces of gum. Marvin, should we call the doctor? Oh, no, let's just make sure he can poop. Hey, Jeffy, go to the bathroom and poop. Why would I go to the bathroom when I have a perfectly good pair of shorts I can shit in? Because you're not supposed to poop in your shorts. If you're going to do that, go to your room. Oh, oh, well, if you send me to my room, I'm going to shit in my bed. Jeffy, we just cleaned those sheets. And smeared all over the walls. No, Jeffy, just don't stay here then. All right, that's what I'm doing. Oh, oh. Marvin, are you sure he's gonna be okay? Let's just make sure he can have a bowel movement so that his, you know, they're not obstructed or anything. Okay. Marvin, we haven't heard from Jeffy in days. Do you think he's okay? Baby, he's a kid. He's fine. He's probably at his friend's house making a fork talk and playing a tick knife. Hey, dang. Oh my god, Jeffy! Why is your stomach so big? Are you okay? I haven't been able to poop in days. I'm constipated as shit. Baby, the gum, it's probably clogging its colon. What do we do? We have to call a doctor. Tell him I look like a truck driver looking for a lot lizard. Oh, okay. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, my son's fat from eating gum. Oh no, did he eat that Willy Wonka gum that makes you get all fat and turn blue? But it couldn't be that, because he's not blue. And also, Willy Wonka's not real, that was just a movie. You know what, I'll let you talk. He kept chewing and swallowing gum. You're not supposed to swallow it. We told him that, but he'd already swallowed 50 pieces. 50 pieces? Jesus, his intestines must be pink. I mean, pinker than normal, because of the gum. Because gum is pink, I'll stop. Listen, he looks constipated. Of course he's constipated. He looks like he's about to pop. He's literally full of shit. We're gonna have to fish that gum out of his ass like a dog. Okay, well, how much gum do you think's in his ass? I don't know. I just have to take a look with my Doc McStuffins autoscope. Out of my way. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were going the other way. All right, let's take a look in that butt. Spread them. All right. All right, let's see what we got going on. Okay, don't do that. My face is right there. Sorry. Just take a look. I'm gonna get pink eye, okay? I am literally human centipeding your asshole with my eye, okay? My eye is right there. Stop. Stop down. Down, boy. Stop it. Marvin, Marvin, tell him to stop. Jeffy, stop farting. I'm sorry. I can't help me. I'm backed up. Just try to hold it at least. Okay, 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 I can see the gum, okay? It, it's all up in there. What, you got a tube in your ass? Stop it! Jeffy, stop it! Stop! Okay, okay, now, now, Jeffy, I, I need you to fart as hard as you can when I say go, okay? I'm gonna move my face out of the way, okay? Now go. Marvin, look at that ass bubble! Wait, he's blowing a bubble with his ass of gum? Yeah! Okay, well, pop it! Well, no, there's enough methane in there to kill a hundred men! Okay, so what are you gonna do with it? I, I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna take it outside and release it. Come with me. Okay. 
So why do you want me to come out here with you? Check out this noise I can make. Isn't that so annoying? It's like a balloon. It's really annoying. Yeah, it's annoying. Stop. Hey, Marvin, five bucks you let me release this fart in your face. Ew, no. Oh, come on. What well, man? This is man stuff. Hey, he farted in my face way more than that. Come on. Five bucks? Yeah, five bucks. Okay. <laughs> 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 Doesn't that stink? Oh my god, I'm so sick. I've never seen anyone throw up that much. Where's my five bucks? Oh, all I actually have is this two dollar bill. You said you had a five! Yeah, but I saw it upside down and see it looks kind of like a five. Still backwards though. Here. Where's my three dollars? Really? How bad do you have it, you bitching over three dollars? Marvin, look while you're away, Jeffy made another fart bubble. Come dibs. Come on, Marvin, let's release it outside. I don't want to release it outside. I dropped it. What? Oh my god, Marvin, it float! What? How's it doing that? I guess the methane is so toxic that it makes it float. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh my god, Marvin, we could be billionaires. I have an idea. See, Marvin, there's a helium shortage. Eventually, all the helium's gonna run out, and there won't be enough for balloons for parties. But we could start a business where we make balloons out of Jeffy's ass. That would be an amazing idea. We would be billionaires. Marvin, no, you can't exploit Jeffy. Oh, shut up. You're a woman. What do you know about business? What? Look, I'll put this in terms you can understand, okay? White bread, cheese, ham, mayonnaise, no crusts, go. No, I'm not making you a sandwich. Marvin, stick up for me. Uh, uh, make mine wheat bread. Okay, so what are we gonna do now? Okay, I'm gonna go out and get a business license and print business cards, you know, that say Jeffy's Ass Balloons Incorporated, so it's so that people know how to find us. You just keep feeding Jeffy gum, okay? Okay. All right, Jeffy, you hungry? Yeah. All right, let me get some gum. Okay, I did a lot. Hey, Marvin. Hey, where have you been? It's been hours. I've been tying string to these bubbles so they don't fly away. Where have I been? I've been in business meetings, making things happen, cashing checks. Cashing checks? Yeah, everybody wants a piece of Jeffy's Ass Balloons Incorporated. You actually made a business card? Yeah, I said I would. How else are people supposed to find us? Well, do we even have any orders? Do we even have any orders? Marvin, we already have 2,000 orders due tomorrow. 2,000 orders? Yeah, we got weddings, birthday parties, gay pride parades, gay birthday parties, gay weddings. Well, why are people choosing us? Because of the helium shortage. Nobody else can keep up. And they can't beat our prices. Gum is cheaper than balloons. I guess that makes sense. Hold on, I'm getting a call. Who's this? Oh no, it's Carl. I meant to call him back and I forgot. Hey Carl, how's it going, buddy? Yeah, yeah, we're working on that right now. No, ca Carl, Carl, listen to me. Carl, no, there's no way we're going to be able to fulfill that order by the end of next week, buddy. No, I know. I know they're trying to take your house. Yeah, and they want to put you in a nursing home, I know. What, what, there's a talking dog? And a Boy Scout. Maybe you belong in a home, Carl. Sorry about that. That was Carl from Disney Pixar's Up. He needs a million balloons so he can float his house away to a waterfall or some shit. Honestly, there's no way we're going to be able to fulfill that, but he put down a deposit. So that's how we're able to afford the Super Bowl commercial. Super Bowl commercial? Oh, yeah, we got a Super Bowl commercial, I forgot to tell you. Oh, yeah, and I also booked Jeffy for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. We need him to blow up SpongeBob with his ass. And or the Explorer and Stewie from Family Guy. Wait, I'm getting a text. What's this? Oh, and also Blue from Blue's Clues. So make sure he keeps eating out of that feed bag. Hey, Daddy, I got another one. Flip it, flip it, Marvin, flip it. Hold on, I got it, I got it. Ugh, this one's hot off the hole, Marvin. Here, tie this. Okay. What, what? Wow, Marvin, you just wasted good product. I didn't have a good grip. Yeah, well, you need to get a grip. This is money we're talking about. Oh, my God, it smells so bad in here. That's the smell of money, Marvin. You better get used to it. Who's that? That's one of our customers. Here, give me these. Okay. Hello? Hi, I'm here for my balloon order. Here you go, ma'am. Oh my god, thank you so much for getting this to me on such short notice for my 18th birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, thank you. That'll be $500. Oh my god, I don't have any money. Is there another way I can pay you? Oh, is your birthday today? Yeah. I think we can work something out. Well, Marvin, another satisfied customer. Well, I'm satisfied. Oh, great. Where's the money? Um, I kind of gave her those ass balloons for free. Well, not for free. We did work something. You can't be giving her away for free. Look, doing stuff like this is going to give us good mouth. I, I mean, word of mouth. I mean, she used her mouth. Okay, look, it'll help our reputation, okay? But to be honest, it was pretty mid. I should have just charged her. Yeah, the post-nut clarity is really starting to kick in. Well, while you were down there, we got two more done. Two more? We're going to need a lot more than that. Get to farting, Jeffy. He's farting as fast as he can. No, no, no. When my face was down there, he was going nuts. Also, what's with the only pink? Well, that's the only color we have, bubblegum. Okay, hold on, Marvin. I need you to feed him these gumballs, okay? We need to diversify our colors. We need blue. Boys have birthdays, too. And also, you're going to want to get started on the yellow because we need to get a head start with SpongeBob. All right, Jeffy, you need to eat these colored ones. I eat the blue one. Yeah, here, take this blue one. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. This is a good one. See, Marvin, that's what I'm talking about. Colors. Now we're going to start raking in the real cash. Daddy, my butthole hurts. Jeffy, just keep eating the gum. You can take a break in an hour. Breaks? No, no, no. We don't have time for breaks. Okay, we got a bar mitzvah coming up in an hour, and the mom 
mom is hot as holy hell. I hope she can't pay. Hold on, I'm getting a call. <laughs> Hello, Jeffy's Ass Balloons Incorporated. You got the cash or ass, and we got the gas. Hi, my son sent me helium from one of your balloons, and now he's not moving. Oh, uh, well, ma'am, we at Jeffy's Ass Balloons Incorporated do not recommend you suck the gas out, because that, that's not helium, that's methane, so your son's probably dead. Bye. Uh, yeah, Marvin, we got a problem. Kids are sucking the gas out of the balloons and they're dying. But dying? Yeah, but it's okay. It's not our problem. I'll just start printing warning labels. But no, it sounds like it's our problem. Nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Who's that? That's yeah, probably just another customer. I'll get it. Hello? Mr. Fredrickson wants his balloons. Who the hell is Mr. Fredrickson? Carl. Oh, shit, Carl. What? I already told Carl that I won't be able to give him the balloons for at least another month. He's not Refund? No, 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 we don't do refunds. Hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, give him this, tell him it'll at least lift his house a few inches, maybe a door or two. Okay! <sighs> Who is at the door? It was one of Carl's goons. He wants his balloons and he's pissed. Well, how many more balloons do we owe him? We owe him 999,000 more. How are we gonna do that? I don't know, but we better do it or else he's gonna want a refund and we won't be able to pay for our Super Bowl commercial. We did not need a Super Bowl commercial. Yeah, well, I'm starting to agree with that, but I already spent the money on this suit and these Armani glasses that are taped to my head because they didn't fit. So you better start farting, Jeffy. Oh, Daddy, I can't do it anymore. I'm so tired. Tired? No, no, no. You better put that butthole in overdrive, mister. I'm gonna hop on you like hop on pot, get you to fart. Come on, fart. Fart, boy. I think I got all you coming. Come on, speak to me, boy. No, 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 Marvin, Marvin, the machine is broken, he's tapped out, we gotta start eating gum, come on. Oh no, I'm not gonna eat gum, it's dangerous. We have to. Who's that? Oh no, God, I hope that's not Carl. Hello? Hey there, looking for Jeffy's Ass Balloons Incorporated? That's us. Great, you're being sued for the death of Carl Fredrickson, a kid named Russell, a dog named Doug, and a snipe named Kevin. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, Carl Fredrickson purchased balloons from Jeffy's Ass Balloons Incorporated. He then took those balloons inside his house, which he then lit a match, and it caused the balloons to ignite, exploding his house. So now, Disney and Pixar is making a movie called Down. Oh, uh, well, 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 on the card, it shows him farting into the balloons, so the methane is applied. They really should have known better. Yes, but there's no warning on the fact. Only your phone number written in invisible ink. Yeah, that's the only pen I had. I buy my pens from National Treasure Nicholas Cage. Well, that's great, because I have a court order here shutting this shit down, and it was printed with invisible ink, so get your lemon juice and your hair dryer and figure that shit out. Well, how much are we being sued for? Everything. Okay. Well, Marvin, it's over. What do you mean? We're getting sued. How? Well, read it. It's blank. Oh, yeah, it's written in invisible ink. Basically, we're getting sued because people were dying using our balloons. I told you that was going to be our problem. Yeah, you did. Oh, we still had a good run. I almost fulfilled my dream of having the world's most successful ass-based balloon business. And I got sucked off so many times. What? Nothing, but we're going to have to file for bankruptcy. But that's okay. They can't sue us personally. That's why I made a business. You know, you know I'm just going to shut that shit down. I'll be fine. We're protected. You know what, I, I actually am going to take some balloons with me for the road because, you know, people forgot my birthday this week. Hey, Daddy, want to see a magic trick? No. Pick a car! I said no. Well, then get her on your way! Mommy, pick a car! Okay. Where's my card? All right, put it back in the deck. There you go. All right. All right, now I'm going to tap the deck two times and your card will be on top. Get your card? Oh, my God! Jeffy, that's amazing! Wait, how'd you do that? A magician never reveals his secrets. I want to pick a card. All right. I'll give you 50 bucks if you tell me how you did it. <laughs> okay, easy. They're all the same car. Temple, that's cheating! What, they're all the three of hearts? <laughs> you can't do that, Jeffy. You have to use an actual real deck. Well, it's not cheating because you never asked to see the car. Yeah, I guess that's true. Okay, whatever. That was all the money we had for the rest of the month. And I was going to go shopping. <laughs> There's someone at the door. Hello? Hey, Martin. Oh, hey, Goodman. I don't have my house payment this month. That's okay. I have another week. Chives, get over here! Is your butler on a leash? Yes, because he's been a bad dog. I'm a human fat. Shut up, Chives! So 
So what do you want me to do? Well, Chimes won't stop pissing in the closet. That's because you leave me locked in there for 12 or more hours a day! Learn to hold it, Chimes! I can't! I'm 73! Listen, I've tried rubbing his nose in it, I've tried hitting him with a newspaper, and he won't stop! And I read online that if you have a dog that won't stop pissing, you cut his balls off and then he stops! So I need you to neuter Chimes for me. You want me to cut your butler's balls off? Yes, and put them in a jar. He's serious. Uh, I'm not comfortable with cutting his balls off. Get over here! Heal! I I'm not comfortable with that. Well, if you do it, I'll let you go three months without paying a house payment. Get back over here! Uh, okay, three months without a house payment? I, I really like that. Okay, cool. Here, take the leash and hold on to it tight because he likes to run away. Okay. And also, when I come back here in a few minutes, I better have a ball sackless chives. And don't be afraid to pull the leash, okay? Come on, Chives. <laughs> So, Jeffy, what are you going to spend your 50 bucks on? Hookers. Get in here, Chives. Marvin, why is that man on a leash? Because we have to cut his balls off. Marvin, we can't do that. Hey, gang, this guy's bald. Is he your brother? Stop that! Listen, he's Goodman's butler, and he won't stop peeing on the carpet, so Goodman wants me to neuter him. Marvin, let him go. You want a CD? What kind of CD? CD's nuts! Jeffy, get out of here. Uh -huh. Okay, so listen, we have to do it because Goodman says that if I neuter him, we don't have to make a house payment for three months. Marvin, this is wrong. Let him go. Would you rather be homeless or cut this guy's balls off? Oh, I guess they gotta go. Oh, come on! Doesn't anyone have any sense anymore? Okay, listen, hold on to the leash. I have to go get some scissors. Scissors? But do not let go. He will run away. <laughs> Bad chance. Sorry. Listen, ma'am, I know you don't have any balls. But if you would be so inclined to drop the leash, I swear I won't run away! You promise you won't run away? I swear to it! Okay, I'm gonna let you go! Okay, do it! Oh man! Marvin's gonna be pissed! Okay, I got the scissors and... I got some pain medicine for him. Wait, where'd he go? Uh, I let go. So he ran away? He promised he wouldn't! Oh my god, dude, you're so blonde and stupid and dumb! I'm free! Ugh, what? No way! It's caught! Shit! Shit! Chives! Uh, Come back here right now! No! Get in here, Chives! No! God, please, no! Baby, hold the leash. Okay. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna cut him off. Marvin, don't do that in here! It's gonna be gross! Yes, and very messy! Ew, old man testicles and blood everywhere! <laughs> Okay, you want me to call a vet and see if they'll come do it? That's a good idea. I'm not a dog. All right, hold on to that leash. Let me grab my phone. Okay, I'm calling the vet's office. It's ringing. Hello, veterinarian's office. Uh, yes. Do you neuter things there? Sure, we neuter things all the time. Okay, because I have someone I need you to neuter. Okay, well, how old is the little fella? How old are you? 73. He's 73. Oh, my God. In dog years? No, no, no. In human years. Wow, that must be the oldest living dog I've ever heard of. Oh, no, it's not a dog. It's a human. It's an old man. So we need you to come over to our house and cut his balls off. Hello? Hello? Oh, she hung up. Thank God! I guess we have to do it ourselves. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. What if you didn't cut my balls off? Well, we have to cut them off because we don't want to have to pay our house payment for three months. Well, well, what if you still didn't have to make your house payment for three months? I have a plan. Listen, all you have to do is find something that looks like balls, put them in a jar, give it to Goodman, tell him an elaborate story about how you cut my balls off, but make sure you tell him I struggled or else he won't believe you. Hey, that's a good idea. That is a good idea, but what are we going to use for fake balls? I don't know. Find something. Okay, I'll go look. Well, I'm not going to let go of this leash because I don't want you running away. Okay. Come on, we've made it this far. I'm not gonna run away. I mean, I guess we are cool now. Yeah, we're super cool. Like, dab me up, G. I guess I will dab you up. Hey! Yes, I'm free! Oh, no way! Ah, why does this keep happening to me? No, shit, 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 shit. No, no, no. Come back inside. Come no. on. Come on, Chives. No, please. Just kill me instead. Okay, Marvin, this is what I got. I have two fake eyeballs. I have two balls I made out of Play-Doh. Two spiky light-up balls. Two bouncy balls, two peanuts, and chocolate balls. Ooh, the, the peanuts might work. You could roll them around in some ketchup. Maybe make them look bloody. No, no, no. Goodman's not going to fall for any of these balls. Looks like we have to actually neuter you. No, no, please. The peanuts will work, I swear. Well, while you two figure it out, I'm going to eat my meatball sub. Wait, did you just say meatball sub? My God, that's it. Meatball.
What? Oh yeah, meatballs would look like actual balls because they're meaty, have red sauce on them like blood. Exactly! But then what am I gonna eat for dinner? I don't care what you eat! Eat the peanuts! Marvin, go grab a jar for us to put the meatballs in. Me and Rose will wait right here. Okay, wait a minute. No, I'm gonna stay right here and hold on to the leash. You go get a jar. Okay. I see I can't fool you a second time. Yeah, you're not escaping again. Alright, Marvin, I put the meatballs in this jar. Oh wow, that's so believable! That looks just like my testicles put in a jar! Ew! I mean, it does look really believable. I mean, it's all meaty and gross. So, Marvin, what story are you gonna tell Goodman? Yes, Marvin! You have to make sure it's very believable! Tell him I struggled! Ooh, ooh! And tell him I screamed! He'll love that! I'll tell him something really good. Well, that must be him at the door! But, but wait, Marvin! I don't have any bandages! He'll never believe it! Oh, we can put one of Jeffy's diapers on him! Genius! Oh, yeah, we can do that! Okay, so I'll get one of Jeffy's diapers. Here, hold the leash. Damn. Okay, and do not let go of him. And I'll get you one of the diapers. Okay. Hello? Are those balls snipped? Oh, those balls are snipped completely off. You actually did? Did he cry? Oh, yeah, he's still crying. Oh, I bet he cried. I bet it hurt, too. But Marvin, look, it had to be done. You wouldn't stop peeing in the closet. Yeah, I completely understand, but if you want to come see him, he's recovering upstairs. Okay, I'll come see him. Goodman's coming up the stairs right now! Look, Marvin, I found a cone! Very believable! There he is! Ow! Ow! Holy shit, you actually cut off his balls. Yep, he sure did. There they are in that jar right there. Are those fucking meatballs? Uh, no, no, those are my testicles. Oh, yeah, these are what testicles look like outside the body. It's true! They look like meatballs from a Subway sandwich. Uh, no, 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 they just look old because he's old, that's why they look like that, because we cut his balls off. Oh, yeah, so Chives, tell me, because I have to know, how bad did it hurt? Oh, God, it, it hurt so bad! I was kicking and screaming, and he had me crying for my mommy! So why are the scissors clean? Oh, oh, be because Marvin made me lick them clean afterwards! Oh, that's something I would do. Nice touch, Marvin. Yeah, we had to sterilize them after did it. Yeah. So, Marvin, tell me how you did it, and please, don't leave out any details, because I see eyeballs, Play-Doh balls, spiky balls, bouncy balls, peanuts, and Maltesers. Yes, oh. Marvin, please don't spare any expense. Yeah, Marvin, tell us. So, you, you want to know how I cut the balls off and I used all these items? Oh, yeah, please, because I, I have to know. Oh, okay, I, I, this, is, this is what happened. So we dragged Chives into the room by his leash, and he was screaming and crying and begging for us to let him go. So we threw him into a cage and fed him a bowl of eyeballs. And then when he got done eating those eyeballs, he wanted to come out and play. So we let him play with some Play-Doh because we felt bad, and he started making Play-Doh balls. And then he tried to run away, so he threw spiky balls at him and knocked him down. And then we said, if you try to run away again, we're going to feed you to the elephant outside. And so the elephant overheard that we said his name, so the elephant wanted to be fed some peanuts, so we threw peanuts at the elephant. An elephant elephant? There was an elephant outside, and that's, that's why we had peanuts. We fed the elephant peanuts. So then we chained Chive to the table, and he said, no, please, before you cut my balls off, I really want to see how high I can bounce a bouncy ball. So we let him go, and he bounced the bouncy ball over the elephant, and then we chained him back to the table, and then we cut his balls off with scissors, and we celebrated by eating Maltesers. So that is what happened. An elephant, Marvin. Yes, an elephant. That's why we needed the peanuts. Marvin, this is a fucking meatball. What? How do you know? Because I licked it, and I know that this is a meatball from Subway. Ew! So I know you didn't chop off his balls. It's inhumane. You can't chop off a human's balls. Well, then give me the scissors, and I'll do it. No! No, Goodman, they're my balls. Oh, do it. Well, I'd like to see this. Oh, yeah? Well, watch this. Just just let me pull them out first. What are you doing? Hey! Hey! Time to get your wrinkly ass back here and eat this meatball! He escaped again! Why would we give him the scissors? Oh, man, Marvin, it's nice just having a boy's day, you know? Sitting back, watching TV, drinking some brewskis. It is nice. Okay, I'm pissed. I'm going home. Wait, what happened? I got hit in the head with this football. That's a soccer ball. Oh, Marvin. Most of the world calls this a football. Hey, Danny, have you seen my checkerboard ball? It's not called a checkerboard ball, Jeffy. It's called a soccer ball. All right, well, then kick me, Daddy. What? You can't play checkers on it, Jeffy. It's a soccer ball. What are you supposed to do with it? You're supposed to kick it. Oh, like this? I mean, yeah, but you can also hit it with your head. Okay. What? No, you're supposed to hit it in the air. Okay, like this? Yeah. Whoa, Marvin, did you see that? That was incredible. Your son could be a football player. Really? The news! Breaking news! World-famous soccer player Lionel Messi has turned down a 
$1.6 billion deal from the Saudi Arabian football team to play for the Miami soccer team. They should have offered it to me. I would have played soccer in Saudi Arabia for $1.6 billion. He turned down $1.6 billion just to kick a ball around? Yeah, Marvin, football is the biggest sport in the world. It is? Yeah, 3.2 billion people watch it. I guess they were offering him like 50 cents per viewer. I wish someone would offer me a billion dollars to kick a stupid soccer ball. I just got an idea. You know how your son just hit that ball? That was sick. I bet if we called up the Saudi Arabians and told them that your son was the next big football player, they'd give him a billion dollar contract. He's never played soccer in his life. Well, maybe if you stop calling it soccer, they'll believe us. And look, if they do take it and give him a billion dollar contract, we can split the money because I came up with this idea. If they give him a billion dollar contract, I'll split the money with uh, you. Okay, I'm gonna go call the Saudi Arabians. Hey, Marvin, I got Prince Abu Dhabi, the owner of the Saudi Arabian football team. Prince Abu Dhabi heard that you're the next biggest football player. Oh, we do. He's right there. Yeah, here's Jeffy. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I had to remove my ass. Jeffy, nice to meet you. He does not look like a football player. Oh, no, he is. Uh, Marvin, give him a football. Let's show him what he can do. I don't know where the soccer ball is. What did you just call it? Uh, he, he said, he said, football. Marvin, cut the shit. Uh, show him what you can do, Jeffy. Oh, I like that shit. Yeah, yeah, you like that shit. So can we have a billion dollars, please? Well, not quite, but I'll tell you what. My football team is playing against the French Bulldogs tomorrow. So if your Jeffy goes on my team and we win, I'll give him a one billion dollar contract. But, but the French Bulldogs have never lost. Exactly. But well, we're gonna play him and we're gonna win because I'm gonna coach him. What, what do you know about football? I've seen the movie Kicking and Screaming starring Will Ferrell and Mike Ditka. Oh, you got this shit. Okay, I will see you tomorrow. Yeah, all right, Marvin, we just made a billion dollars. No, we didn't. Jeffy has to apparently somehow beat the best team in soccer. Well, we can do that. Well, no, you can't. You're a coach of soccer and you don't even have legs. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin, I've always wanted to be a soccer player. You know how hard it is to not have legs? I can't even ride horses. I just fall off the back. We're gonna lose. We're not gonna get a billion dollars. Well, it's worth a try. Come on, Jeffy. Uh -huh. Okay, Jeffy, this is the soccer field. This is where they said the game was gonna be. Hey, Jeffy, how's it going? You see your team over there? Jeffy, they're amazing. It's not going to be hard at all to win. Oh, no, that's not your team over there. That's the French Bulldogs. Your team is over there. Pass it, pass it, pass it, pass it, pass it. Ah! Pass it. I said pass it. You distracted me. Oh, dear God. They suck so bad. Oh, yeah. They suck camel beaner. Anyway, good luck. Come on, Jeffy. Let's go meet your team. All right. Okay, listen. This is how you kick the ball into the goal. You missed. I'm doing my best, okay? Uh, hey, everybody. Oh, well, are you the guy we called about forfeiting? Uh, no, I'm actually the coach, and this is your new teammate, Jeffy. Is he good? Well, I've only ever seen him hit a ball with his head. He can do that? That means he's good. Yeah, so how long do we have to practice? Uh, game starts now. Yeah. Hello and welcome to the professional football exhibition game between the French Bulldogs and the Saudi Arabian Camels. The match will start now. Both teams take center field. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a quick pep talk to make sure we win. Oh no, we're not gonna beat them. The French Bulldogs are undefeated. Well, let's pretend they're not. But they are. Okay, well, let's pretend they're not. See, Jeffy here's gonna get a billion dollar contract if we win. So, if we win, I'm gonna give you guys like 20 million each. That seem fair? <laughs> That's nothing. I make 150 million per game. And I make 110 million dollars a season. Wh why? Because Saudi Arabia has money. Yeah, it seems like it. But he's gonna get a billion dollars? I'm not gonna try as hard now. Because I want a billion dollars. You know, I just got my nails done, so. Wait, wait, you can't use your hands in football. Dude, she's the goalie. Oh, well, okay. Well, Jeffy, just play like you're gonna win a billion. Okay. Okay, it's time for the coin toss. France, since you're the away team, heads or tails? Heads. I said it was heads. Okay, France goes first. Listen, I already know you guys are gonna win, so good game. The hell, but don't the cool. Jelly donut to you too. Uh, coach, where do I go? Just go out into the field and try to steal the ball from them. Oh, you silly Americans! You can't beat the French. Yeah, I get it. You're very good. No, we oui, we. Oui. Yeah, I know. I don't have any pants on. Hey, listen, how much money do you make? 
a billion dollars. I sold my life away. Jesus, I can't bribe you either. How much money does this goddamn sport make? A lot. Uh, coach, can you get off the field? Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, man, I hope Jeffy wins. Hello, you silly American. Are you the coach of the Saudi Arabian team? Uh, yeah, I am. Well, you are going to lose badly. <laughs> I'm sorry, who are you? I am the coach of the French team. Jacques Pierre Francois. Why are you wearing a raincoat, Jacques? Because it's going to rain. From all the tears, you are going to be crying. Yeah, well, smoking's bad for you. First team to score three goals wins. Let the match begin. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! We we that is what I am talking about! Suck on these points now! Come on, goal, you didn't even try! Haha, <laughs> your players ran into each other like a cartoon! Get up, you idiots! What are you doing? That is another goal! That makes it two to zero! One more goal and we win! Okay, time out. Huddle up, everybody! Ugh, guys, what the hell is going on out there? Coach, I don't want to be goalie anymore. I know, clearly you keep running away from the ball. And I hate running around. Oh, okay, then Beard Guy, you be the new goalie, and you, girl, and Jeffy, you run around and try to score points. Okay. Yes. Oh. My goal is the goal! Oh my god, the goalie's knocked out! Get up, you idiot! Hit it in, woman! Okay. We scored again, the game is tied! What are you doing, you blabbering idiot? Stop fighting! They just scored again and the game is tied! I'm sorry, I'm sorry too. Oh, you take me to get hamburger. I take you to get hamburger. Oh, we really? get hamburger to get That's it, that's it! Oh, you imbecile, what are you doing? Next time you still eating pastel? What did you call me? I'm still eating pastel! Ah! How do you want to have a towel? You are just special friend! Go and eat it up! Oh! Didn't. Yeah, you're right. Was my dad coaching the other team? Yes, he was. But look, we just won a billion dollars! What about our 20 million? Oh, well, you guys said you didn't need it, and to be honest, you don't. So come on, Jeffy! Oh, hell yes! I like that shit! Yeah, Marvin, you hear that? We're gonna be billionaires! What, you actually won? Yeah, Danny, I hit the game-winning goalie with my head. So you know what that means? Celebratory remote mass. I don't care what you put in your ass. You're about to sign a billion dollar contract! Woohoo! Well, What did you just say? I, I, I said soccer. Oh, hell no! What the shit? What the hell? Marvin. What? Marvin, why did you have to say soccer? Well, that, that's, that's just what I call it. Where'd he go? He left because you said soccer. Well, we're still gonna get the billion dollars, right? No, we just lost a billion dollars because you said the word soccer. No, 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 the, the deal was if Jeffy won the game, we would get a billion dollar contract. It doesn't matter, Marvin. Everybody knows if you say the word soccer or you're associated with someone who says the word soccer, you don't know how to play the game. Well, clearly Jeffy knows how to play. He, he won the game. No, you said soccer. He knows we're frauds. So now what? Now I'm gonna go home because this was a waste of time. What? <sighs> I guess I'm just gonna watch TV. Jeffy, you know where the remote is? Oh yeah, we're here, Donnie.